Have you ever thought about what happens to the water in your home once it goes down the drain? Or where the waste goes after you flush or rinse? Wastewater comes from toilets, sinks, showers, dishwashers, and washing machines. Basically anything that sends used tap water away from your home. Once it leaves, it travels through any of Guelph's more than 500 kilometers of sewer mains to the city's Water Resource Recovery Center. That's a pipe system longer than the drive from Guelph to Ottawa. Responsible wastewater treatment keeps you and your family safe and healthy, keeps rivers clean, protects local wildlife, and even generates electricity. But we need your help. You control what goes down your drain. Wipes and menstruation products belong in your gray cart and paper towels and food waste, including fats, oils, and greases, belong in your green cart. These items can block pipes at home and across the city, which are costly to repair. The water that comes from rain and snow doesn't get mixed with the wastewater that comes from your home. It's captured by the storm drains and flows to our local rivers and lakes, sometimes through a stormwater pond. Let's take a look back at the not-so-distant past to learn more. A couple hundred years ago, wastewater was simply tossed into the streets. This led to awful odors and diseases like cholera, typhoid, and dysentery, not to mention the occasional angry neighbor. In 1903, Guelph opened its first sewage plant to collect wastewater from all 11,500 Guelph residents at the time. This water was screened, then passed through two septic tanks before flowing into gravel beds. By the 1920s, Guelph was one of only four communities in Ontario using the activated sludge process, a practice still used in modern wastewater treatment. Over the years, as the population grew and technology improved, the city of Guelph's wastewater processes improved too. Today, the city of Guelph provides safe, reliable, and environmentally responsible wastewater collection and treatment services to everyone in our community. Let's see how. Gravity and pumps work to bring your wastewater to Guelph's Water Resource Recovery Center. Around 55 megaliters of wastewater is processed every day. That's about enough to fill 22 Olympic-sized swimming pools. When the wastewater arrives at the facility, it passes through filter screens that remove larger pieces of organic and inorganic waste. Organic waste is stuff that comes from a plant or animal and can break down, also called biodegradable. Inorganic waste, like plastics, do not break down. When large items are flushed or poured down drains, they must be removed before the wastewater can go into the first stage of treatment. Things that should never be flushed include wipes, paper towels, toothbrushes, food waste, menstruation products, and garbage, because they can clog pipes in your home and across the city before they can be screened out at the Water Resource Recovery Center. For toilets, remember the three P's. Only pee, poo, and toilet paper should be flushed. In the primary treatment tank, organic solids are separated from the liquid wastewater. Heavier stuff settles to the bottom of the tank, forming a layer of sludge, while fats, oils, grease, and any other floating solids that weren't already filtered out will rise to the top of the tank. The floating layer is called scum and gets scraped off the top. Now the wastewater process splits in two. Solids, the scum and sludge layers from the top and bottom of the tank, go to a place called the digester, while the liquid wastewater, including small bits of organic waste that weren't filtered out, moves into a second treatment tank. In the second tank, microbes eat away at the tiny bits of organic waste in the liquid with the help of oxygen that's pumped into the tank. From here, the wastewater is disinfected using chlorine and filtered again. The final step is then removing the chlorine so the water is safe to be drained into the Speed River. But wait, whatever happened to the solids? the scum and sludge that was collected in the first treatment tank. Remember that after the scum and sludge are separated from the liquid wastewater, they go to the digester. In the digester, heat and other microbes work to remove harmful bacteria and digest everything into a mixture that has lots of nutrients, kind of like what happens to food in our stomachs. We capture the methane gas created during the digestion process and convert it into energy to power the Water Resource Recovery Center. The more energy we save, the more we reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And that's a good thing. We want to meet our race to zero target and become a net zero carbon community by 2050. We all need to be part of the solution to reach these goals. Water is removed and heat is added. The remaining mixture is treated to become safe, nutrient-rich fertilizer for livestock farms, so it does not go to landfill. At the city of Guelph, we work hard to protect our environment and build a future that sustains us. 
The way we manage our community's wastewater reduces our community's carbon footprint and protects our rivers and the natural environment for people and wildlife. By using water wisely, only flushing the three P's, pee, poo, and paper, and sorting your waste properly, you help to ensure our Water Resource Recovery Center can accomplish this work, making a difference in our community. Learn more at guelph.ca wastewater.